Hello, um, Merry Christmas, I suppose, and um, hope everyone's having a nice holidays and it's calmed down a little bit after the pre-Christmas rush. Um, this was posted on the forum over the holidays, and I've just been having a look at it. And basically, it's a, a twig ring, a twig ring, or a tree ring, a twig ring, a branch ring. I suppose it depends how big it is, but um, it's quite an organic shape, and this is wondering the best way to make it or a way to make it so I just thought uh, I'd have a look at doing it in CAD I think that's probably is actually a, a twig <laughs> that's been invested in cast but I could be wrong might be uncarved but um, so here goes anyway so I'll switch that off um, there we go um, so we need to start with um, a ring size so trying a new mouse out on a can't wear a kit so we have to bear with me so I don't know 18 something like that oops 18 mil there we go um, and it looks like on the picture that it goes over what I don't know well, 1.2 or something like that turns uh, yeah so <coughs> goes to 4 of you and then um, we want a curve and we want a helix I want it from the middle and I don't know roughly 5 mil something like that um, turns 1.3 I think 1.2 probably do us and the size we want to go just if we say millimetre there or just under a millimetre yeah something like that about 0.8 of a mil that's giving us that shape um, and put it somewhere into the centre so it sort of makes sense and do the same four view and just sort of rotate it round so that's somewhere near the top like that and click on that get the length of that which is 73 point oops that far copy that and then we want to draw a line um, do that view from there and we want to paste that number we got in there to there ok and we'll change that to a different layer so it makes a bit of sense ok So now if we look at the picture, wherever it's gone, I don't know where it's gone, that view, <laughs> it's sort of zigzag around, um, so I'll sort of just do something rough for now, in that sort of fashion over this. Uh, I still can't get used to this mouse. <laughs> so we'll go in. Maybe that one. Start the end. We've got a near snap on. But what we'll do is. We'll start that here. If we press Alt, it takes the snapping away. Something like that. I'm not really sure how a tree grows. Maybe I should have looked at pictures, but. <laughs> 
pub lag in it. This is how our tree grows anyway. Something like that, and then we'll select all them, put that one, and we'll do a command call T spline split. T spline, can't say it. T spline split points, T spline. Point in bulb, where is it? TS, ah, that's why I split. Spline split curves, there it is. Select the ones we want to split. Oops, not them. Them. Them, but we'll just get rid of that. And then that splits all these joints for us, so we'll get a better, um, a better curve. Turn that off. Um, and then what we'll do is transform, float along a curve, select objects to flow, it's them minus that. Base curve is that one, top curve is that one. So I want something like that now. So what we'll do is we'll put that one and that one into our red layer and we'll turn all that red layer off. Okay. I don't like that there. I think that should have been off the other side of that, that's why that's not worked. So let's have a look. It's there, that looks dodgy in it. So we'll run our C splice split command again there. T S split curves. Okay. And then we'll run T S pi. So select them. Get rid of that. And we want the radius about Point seven. Flow along the curve, select objects to flow. Base curve is that. That's that. There we go. So it gives us this effect. So uh, we'll hide that a lot. Now we can play around with this forever now, adjusting stuff and making stuff bigger. Um, you can extrude bits out of it with T splines. So if we uh, select T splines on, select that, T splines face, and we press Alt. And drag it out with that. Oh. There we go, that's what we would try to do. Uh, 
and you just go can go forever and ever adding and moving and stuff but what we're going to do now is going to take that put that into another program um, to put texture on it so we'll do that now okay so I'm going to try doing it this way which basically this program Sculpt Sculptress uh, which is a free um, download it's from the makers of ZBrush um, and I thought I'd have a go at um, try to make this twig ring more twiggy <laughs> if that makes any sense so basically we want to import um, well, which one was it now that one I think um, new scene there. So that's our um, OBJ file that we um, brought out from the T splice. Now it's not very rounded. Well, that's not a problem because um, what we can do with that is subdivide it with uh, the subdivide button. Oh, we on a bit far there. Uh, and then if we pick smooth. We can smooth this, but we need to turn that side up, that strength up a bit. Jump size down, try to uh, do too much. Now I'm not a great master at this, so I'll just get, at least it'll give you an idea of what's going on, and then you can have a go yourself. Draw on that, we can add a bit of branchiness to these. Now as for how much detail I'll actually come out um, onto the model when you do it, I don't know. You know, I don't think that should make any difference what shape it is. Anyway. Yeah. And then if we go to smooth, reduce that size right down. Back to draw, draw some knobbly bits where the branches come out. I don't know, I'm, I'm winging this now. <laughs> um, also smooth, turn the strength down a touch. That's a rubber line. of sculptress <laughs> is legendary quite yet. So we're getting there. We're getting there on the lot. now if we pinch um small small jump quite high we can put these lines in there.
can do with these grab parts if you want to put an extra bit on. And then if you also inflate. Okay, so back into Rhino now. So we've exported from Sculptress as an OBJ again. Uh, and we're going to... So we're going to import it as an OBJ. Might take a while, it's quite a big file. There we go. There's our... Twig ring surface um, analyze surface environment map. There's our actually it looks nothing like the one on the screen, but you get the idea anyway, it's a little bit organic -y looking. Um sort of, so I hope that helps a little bit anyway. Uh, the main thing is try not to subdivide too much um into sculptress when you're in sculptress because it gets heavy quite quickly and slows everything down. Uh, I think that was the problem I was having with it. Um but you know I'm no sculptor, but with a bit of plane, I'm sure you can get something that you like. Alright, thanks for watching anyway. Cheers now. Bye bye.